enzymes are biological catalysts. Enzymes are fundamentally proteinaceous and substrate specific in action. What is substrate? On which the enzyme acts. But there are several instances of certain enzymes which are non protein in nature. One of such example is ribozyme. They are RNA acting as enzyme. One example may be cited here, such as ribonuclease P. Several properties of enzymes whenever scanned, it has been reported that they are temperature and pH specific in action. Enzymes are reversible in nature. Enzymes are very specific in their substrate and the fourth point is again very important, reusable in nature. The very, very important classification of enzyme as recommended by IUB, International Union of Biochemistry proposes. The enzymes may be categorized as oxidoreductases. The enzymes may be categorized as isomerases. The enzymes may be categorized as transferases. The enzymes may be categorized as ligases or synthetases. The enzymes may also be categorized as hydrolases. And the enzymes may also be categorized as Lyases. Several cases of examples can be cited here, such as oxidoreductase. Examples include NADP reductase, isomerase, maybe glucose 6 phosphate, dehydrogenase group of enzymes, which are supposed to be phosphohexoisomerase, transferases, maybe glutamate pyruvate, transaminase, synthases, such as citrate synthases. Hydrolases include all the digestive enzymes such as sucrase, etc. Lyases include acetyl coa lyases as such as they are inducing the synthesis or incorporation of double bonds. As far as the enzymes are concerned, enzymes may be inhibited also. There are several inhibitors, and the inhibitors of enzymes are very specific. The inhibitors may be competitive or enzymes may also be inhibited by non-competitive mode. So whenever you say competitive that there is a definite similarity between the structure of substrate with the inhibitor. So here you can say substrate and inhibitor bear a close similarity. On the contrary, Non-competitive enzyme inhibitors are not bearing any direct conformational similarity with the substrate. So substrate and inhibitor may not be matching, but these two inhibitors are very important in action. One of the very interesting properties of enzymes is enzymes are actually following induced feed hypothesis in mode of action. that there is always a compatible matching between the substrate and its enzyme. And the substrate compatible with the enzyme is supported by the definite catalytic site which is definitely in conformation with the substrate binding site. The substrate binding site and the catalytic site, if they are matching with each other, 
then the enzymes are correctly matched and the action is completely forwarded as we can say here. Thank you. For testing your understanding of this lesson and more videos, log on to www.tubelessons.net.